I stand with the lost souls Looking for a hustle The lessons that we're taking away from it and wanting to bring back home with us and around the rest of Queensland with us, it's just a place that I feel like I can't forget and I shouldn't forget. And I just wonder why it's taken me so long to get out, to explore the outback. I think it's finally sinking in and we finally have a bit of a routine of like, yeah, this, for whatever it is, is feels normal. It's all doable. Everyone can do it. And everyone should do it. It's like, no matter where you live, this is your backyard. You could be any state in Australia and there is something to be explored. We're finding everything. And Queensland's a diverse and crazy place, so as the sun goes down, I guess we just remember. I guess we feel thankful for everything we've done, the people we've met as we continue forward with this trek. Cause you want somebody like me When the line gets a little blurry Gonna need somebody like me When the monster crawls out of the sea Gonna need somebody like me I was made in the shadow Where the light ain't allowed to go Today is the first day that we actually head into the coastland, so we are leaving Ondara, we're headed to Cairns, um, pretty much just prep um, for Daintree, uh, which at Daintree that's when we actually get to do probably one of the biggest hikes of the trip. It's the Devil's Thumb, which has this beautiful lookout over Cairns, and it's something that I'm quite looking forward to. Ninety percent of the hike is through dense, dense rainforest, so you don't really see where you're going or what the point of it all is. But then when you come out to clearings like this, and you've got everything you could ever want 
in the view. It's really incredible. And just to be have the honour of walking through this rainforest. It's thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of years old. And for us to get to walk through that and see the result of thousands and thousands of years of growth and regeneration and it's a once in a lifetime experience. Yeah, it's so much more than just a location or a place to call home. This state's full of everything. Like, it's a powerhouse. Like, if you want to compare this state to anyone in Europe, we've got it all. We've got natural wonders, we've got everything. The fact that you can be in Cairns, have beautiful beaches, and then have islands, then have the Great Barrier Reef, and then you look on the other side, you know, the Daintree Rainforest. Um, and then you jump over there and you've got the table and... I think this hike has been... This is a hard hike. It's very thick. Um, and it looks like it's about to start raining. So we'll see how the back half goes. But I'm just grateful that I got to be here. Obviously it's not what we really wanted in terms of, it's not sunny, it's not that kind of that nice warmth of hitting the rock and stuff like that, but it's kind of nice to see it in a different light, which is with very low clouds and you just hear that gushing waterfall. 